One in three women and one out of every two men will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. That according to the American Cancer Society. A recent study finds certain kinds of cancer being diagnosed more often now in younger adults. So tonight we're taking a closer look at the research and the two groups of people most affected by the rise in cancer diagnosis rates. Women and adults in their 30s seem to be driving a rise of early onset cancer diagnosis rates. Just to get the definition straight, if a cancer is diagnosed uh, before the age of 50, it's considered an early onset diagnosis. In a study published in JAMA Network Open, researchers found the rate of cancer diagnosis rose in adults in their 30s from 2010 to 2019, but remained stable over that period in other under 50 age groups, while the rate of cancer in those 50 and older is going down. If you go back to 2010, there was roughly 100 per 100,000 uh, diagnoses made in that population of people, again, under the age of 50. Uh, fast forward 10 years and it's gone up to close to 103, so about a 3% increase. Researchers found early onset cancers were going up fastest among people who identify as American Indian, Alaska Natives, Asians, and Hispanics. Cancers with the highest numbers of early onset cases diagnosed in 2019 were breast, thyroid, and colorectal cancers. The percentage of the country that is obese at this young age now is higher than it's ever been. Health experts believe that's one possible reason for the rise, along with smoking and lack of exercise. Researchers also think screening for these cancers has become more sensitive. We are better at finding these cancers earlier. The screenings are happening, or they're more sensitive, so we may be finding more cancers that way. Yeah. Well, health experts say a healthy lifestyle can help reduce your risk of cancer. That means a healthy diet, exercise, and limiting alcohol.